The 2002 Ryder Cup at the Belfry was a close affair. Heading into Sunday, with both teams tied at eight all, Sam Torrance's men got off to a flying start and never looked back. Paul McGinley's half sealed the win to send the crowd crazy. Just that feeling, I wish everybody could experience that feeling. It was really, really special. I put my arms in the air and I saw Sergio particularly, who was jumping up and down. Um, and that's why I did that stupid dance. And why, that's why I started jumping up and down. That's the nice feeling that you have, that you've made so many people happy. With rain playing havoc across the weekend, the 2010 Ryder Cup at Celtic Manor came down to a Monday showdown. Hunter Mahan versus Graham McDowell. McDowell won three and one, and the crowd who had stayed, despite the weather, showed their appreciation. The ball's on its way, it's down, it can't reach, I don't think it can reach. I... Oh, it's reached! Graham McDowell's hold it down the hill. Incredibly, it's reached the cup. What drama! You know, when the pot went in, yeah, I went crazy and everyone else went crazy. Training badly with seven holes to play, the fans didn't expect anything from Justin Leonard's game in 1999. But a fight back followed by a 40-foot putt to take the lead whipped the partisan crowd into a frenzy. Leonard would half the match, but the USA would take the tournament. There was no one on this planet that expected Justin Leonard to make that putt. It would never cross your mind. At that point, there was no thought process. Just sheer excitement because of the emotions I'd been through. Kentucky is well known for its sporting events and the fanatical support they bring. And in 2008, Paul Azinger capitalized on the state's culture, drafting in the local fans as a final captain's pick. The crowd couldn't be silenced throughout the week and helped the USA to a 16 and a half, 11 and a half win. Well, the, the city of Louisville was fantastic. Made me feel like a rock star. Um, and we got wrapped up in that moment and embraced that crowd and created the 13th man. for its noise levels, but Bubba Watson and Ian Poulter threw away the rule book in 2012. The pair took to the tee box and fired up the crowd to kick off one of the most memorable Ryder Cups in history. Watson. 